This Sess or Something is brought to you by ants. Ants are gross. So, last week was kind of a week for endings. THQ, which we had all known was in a great deal of financial trouble, kind of saw itself picked apart, as I had thought might happen as I was doing my predictions for uh, 2013 last year. Um, it's never fun to see something like this happen. Actual people lost their jobs. It was nice to see that quite a few, the majority of the studios uh, did survive, and hopefully the people who are currently employed there will be able to maintain their employment. Uh, inexplicably, Visual Games, which does the Darksiders franchise, uh, has not been picked up, at least as of the point that I'm recording this right now, which uh, it is a... It is a strong franchise, albeit one that never really seemed to find its audience and become successful. And that's, I think, kind of where I've been focusing on, not so much the human impact of what happened with THQ, but the fact that uh, THQ did not succeed, that the market has changed so significantly in video games that the model it kind of adhered to, it was very, very prolific with licensed games, especially a large swath of a uh, Nickelodeon branded games uh, back in the early 2000s that did ma manage to keep it afloat at the time, but that doesn't really work in the new reality that we're looking at for video games. And if one thing really does stand out from the uh, THQ situation, it's that studios that do not have a massive super blockbuster franchise seem to be having a very hard time getting along. This is something relatively new for this generation. We've always seen sort of in the top 10 games of the year that the uh, top five Five games of those 10 make up for an inordinate number of game sales throughout a given year. But that seems to be even more so in this generation, especially as we're coming to its close. If you don't have a Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto or even, say, a Borderlands 2, it does become very, very challenging to survive. There's nothing that was inherently wrong with any of the current slate of games coming out of THQ, but none of them managed to actually find this audience. And I would have to say that Finding an audience, finding something outside of that core, hardcore gamer that, you know, comes to a site like Red 3 Games once or twice or three times or hopefully every single day in a given week, uh, you got to get to them through marketing. And one thing that just stands out, Saints Row the Third, a game I absolutely adored. I thought it was so funny, so clever, and it really did kind of take the open world game and put it up on its ear. Well... I would go to work every morning in Los Angeles and I'd drive by a billboard for Saints Row the Third. And what you saw were the cast of characters standing in that typical V formation, looking tough, and there was a lot of purple. Didn't say anything about what the game was like, how funny it was, that, you know, you would be using a, a, a large-sized uh, sex toy as a weapon during the course of the game. All those things that could really reach an audience going, hey, there's something new, there's something different there. It wasn't in that marketing. And I think that that's, it's such an important aspect of video games and THQ really, really did fall down. They probably didn't have the fiscal resources to be able to do a massive marketing campaign, but just having a good game these days it doesn't really make all the difference. You have to let people know that the game is available and they should be spending their $60, which is still a fair amount of money to a lot of people on that product. On the subject of endings, uh, yes, the show I once hosted, X-Play, did finally air its final episode last week. A lot of people wanted to know sort of what I thought about it, and I'm gonna leave a lot of my personal feelings to myself. It is the professional thing to do, but uh, also, as people are trying to wonder why there isn't a station about video games and why there really now is one less show about video games that are out there, uh, very similar to THQ. When no one watches, things get canceled. All right, so I said I would be answering questions at the end of the test or something. I'm still doing that. Um, this question comes from King Kev 826 My question is, with all the video game movies that were flops, do you think we can have at least decent movies based off games? And do you think it's the games not being compatible enough for the big screen experiences or the industry trying to make the movies for too broad of an audience that they lose sight of the source material and its fans? I cringed when I heard God of War is in the works. I have ruminated many a time in my own head about the whole video games being made into movies. I think it just shouldn't happen. And there's a couple of reasons, and you, and you hinted at one of them. They really aren't compatible. 
uh, if you look, a game, 10, 12 hours, that's a lot of narrative. It has a certain type of pacing that when it's condensed into a two hour experience, it doesn't really work. I mean, we see this with other adaptations of other source material being put into movies. That truncating of it doesn't really do service to what was supposed to be most pleasurable, most enjoyable. I think one of the best examples out there is what Zack Snyder did with Watchmen. I mean, I love that comic book. It's not about the action. It's about the characters and the slow way that they evolve and we as the reader come to understand them. I think also games are by nature derivative of a lot of pop culture. Uh, God of War that you were cringing at. Yes, I'm aware of a God of War movie. I believe it was the remake of Clash of the Titans and the sequel they had, you know. It's people jumping around, it's big stuff. Uh, it just, it seems to be completely insensible. I think one of the funniest ones was the idea of Uncharted being made into a movie because Uncharted is so clearly reminiscent of Indiana Jones, it's like the snake consuming its own tail. Um, I really don't think there's a need for video game movies. I'm really just kind of tired of adaptations and remakes being made in the movies anyway. Um, I think video games just are about as inappropriate a source material as you can possibly have and maybe something a little more thoughtful or something, God forbid, original income. All right, so more questions. You put them right there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, this is Sessler something. Make sure that you subscribe to everything here at Rev3 Games. We're putting more and more stuff up on the site every single day. You do that by hitting that subscribe button. It's right up there at the top, youtube.com slash Rev3 Games.